This is day number 17. Um, look, I got my nose pierced. This is actually something that I'm talking about tonight. Um, if you are my friend on Facebook, which you probably are because that's pretty much where I post these videos, um, but if you're my friend on Facebook and you read my posts, um, I posted something today about how when I personally get into relationships, I tend to change change myself to kind of accommodate their wants and their desires and even their um, ideal partner as far as my looks. Um, and I think a lot of people do that. So when I, if you if you knew me in high school or right after high school, um, you know that I was pretty fucking crazy, excuse my French, but I was pretty damn wild. Um, part of that came with getting tattoos. These guys, for instance, got them when I was 17. Um, I had a ton of piercings. My eyebrow was pierced, my nose was pierced, my septum, my lip for a little while was pierced, my tongue, my belly button. Um, I had a ton of piercings. Like, I went all out, just fuck it, I'm doing it all. Um, part of it, I think, was a rebellion, but I actually really loved the piercings. I actually, re like, as dramatic and dangerous and reckless as those years were, I do not regret a single moment of any of it. Um, I was having fun. I was experiencing life. I was honestly getting all of that experimental shit out of the way before I got older. So now, yeah, sometimes I still get blackout drunk, but not really. I don't even drink that much anymore. I kind of am happy that I went through those things then so that I can avoid being one of those 30 year old women who gets carried out of a party and you're like, damn, isn't she like, doesn't she have kids or whatever? Um, anyway, not judging, by the way. I'm just saying, for me, I don't want to do that in my older age. I feel like it's, for me, it's just not, not where I want to be. Um, so yeah, I was all those things, spontaneous, you know, just, just enjoying life in a way. Um, there are a whole bunch of other things going on, you know, mentally, but ultimately I was enjoying my life and I was just being free and young. Um, and then I got into my first long-term relationship when I was almost 19. And according to some of my closest friends, I got really boring. Um, most of my attention was focused on the relationship. Most of my attention was focused on how he perceived me. Um, he didn't like me drinking a lot. I did get mean sometimes towards him when I was drinking, but I think a lot of it was um, attributed to knowing that he was judging me for drinking. Um, so part of that was just, you know, me like, just like, I guess, pre-reacting before he even said anything out loud. I already knew he was judging me for drinking, so it just created this weird dynamic between us. Um, I took out all my piercings. I started hating my tattoos, actually, and I actually really like them. Um, the one on my chest, eh, but I can always get it covered up. It's not that big of a deal. Um, they have they have meaning to me. They, you know, when I got them, they were super meaningful, and they still are. Um, so I think, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. But I think that a lot of times when we get into relationships, we tend to forget who we are. We tend to forget the things that we want, and we kind of focus most of our attention on the other person so that we don't lose them. Um, for me, it was because I didn't want to be alone. I went directly from my mom's house, so I'm uh, living with my mom and my uh, older sister and little brother. Um, I went directly from there to this new relationship, uh, so I didn't want to lose it. Like, we lived together, and I kind of just conform to his way of wanting me to be. Uh, he wanted me to be, you know, the girl that cleaned, cooked, but was still independent and paid all her own bills. Um, just all those things that were just kind of hard for me to get into. Um, then I jumped right after that relationship to this past relationship and was with him for two years. So the prior one I was with for four, four years and then this recent one for two years. Um, so I didn't really 
get any time to remember who I was and kind of rekindle that relationship with myself. Um, so now, I guess it's been a couple months since I broke up with this recent one, this recent boyfriend, and I'm feeling for the first time like I just have absolute freedom. I had to cut everything, I had to cut all the communication off because we were still kind of texting. And let me just tell you, if you're going through a breakup, block him. Block him, unfriend his family, uh, don't go snooping around his stuff, just no, don't talk to him. You have to let it go because the longer that you just, you know, kind of keep talking like, oh, we can be friends, maybe one day we'll get back. No, if it didn't work out, it's not going to work out right now. What needs to happen is you cut ties, you both feel the weight of the breakup, and then if it's supposed to happen and you want to get back together later, you can. But initially, this initial moment of breakup, it's for a reason. And all you're going to do is if you keep talking to him, you're going to get back together prematurely and then it's going to go to shit. That's what happened with his last boyfriend. I broke up with him, or we broke up, um, of, like, in October. And we got back together, and it ended up being worse than before. A lot of that is my fault, yes. I was not in the right place to be in a relationship, but I did it anyway because I wanted to make it work. Um, I had, you know, hope that we could do it, but I couldn't. Um, so anyway letting go. I had to let go of all that. And this is the first time in my life that I am alone. Um, all my decisions are my decisions. There's no one, like, obviously I can get input from my mom and, um, my sister and my brother and cousin and, you know, friends. But ultimately every decision that I make is up to me. There's no one really there to hold me up if something goes wrong, except for myself. And it's terrifying, but it's freeing, and it's liberating, and it's strengthening. It gives me this sense of power and control, and but not control in that overbearing, obsessive way. Control in a in a calm, trusting way. Like I can trust myself. I can trust my instincts. So I think that is the beginning of someone who would be an amazing partner for somebody else. I'm not getting into any relationships for a while, but I think me recognizing that I cannot alter myself for somebody else because in the end, your shit always comes out. Um, you can't hinder yourself forever. Um, eventually you're going to explode because you're repressing things or it's just not, it's just not going to work out. I think if I can secure that foundation of being a strong person with myself, by myself, for myself, who I am, 100%, not not inflexible and uncompromising, but, you know, firm. Like, I know who I am, I know what I want, and I'm willing to do s some wiggling in certain cases, in certain circumstances, but if I can have that, if I can have that confidence, then I can be an amazing partner for someone someday. Without that, it's just too hurt people in pain looking for something to fill a void and that's what a lot of relationships are like they're codependent because we're looking for someone to fill our void but the only person who can fill that void is yourself and now that i've realized that my life is changing and it's incredible and i hope that other people out there will realize that that person if you're in a miserable fucking relationship get out it's not good for either of you. I know that some cases are more complicated than others. But if you're even having the thoughts of, well, you know, I, I just don't think, then it probably isn't going to work. You shouldn't be trying to convince yourself to be with somebody. And you also need to think, what is it that you want in your life? And are you doing those things? Are you that person with this other person? Are they helping you or are they hindering you? He and I we're both hindering each other. So, this is for the better. Like, I know he's doing better without me, and that's okay. I'm okay with that, because he's a good guy, and I want him to be happy. And I'm a good person, and I want to be happy, too. I make mistakes. He makes mistakes. 
but we are not bad people for our mistakes. We are just two people who were doing the best that we could with what we had at that moment. So I want to now be that person that takes those lessons from that and creates a better version of myself and the version of myself that I know I can be if I let go of all the shit from my past and just be in the present. So today that's me not letting, not, I guess this is like more like not obsessing. When I obsess, I just contort into whatever shape I'm supposed to fit into. People pleasing, I guess. I don't really know what to title this video, but watch it and you guys, I mean, you already watched it. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.